everyone and welcome to Mount Comfort RV Online. I'm Kurt Hunt and today we're going to take a quick look at three pre-owned RVs that need just a little TLC. Thus the hard hat today. So for you that are handy and don't mind spending a little time doing your own repair and touch up and saving a ton of money in the meanwhile, we have these fixer uppers for your consideration. Susan's on the lot right now with our first RV. It's an Airstream Cutter Class A motorhome, and you can steal this one. Susan, tell us more. Thanks, Kurt. Well, you already know why I'm standing next to this beautiful Airstream Cutter 34 with my hard hat and, well, maybe a few more tools than this you're going to need for this one, but it does need a little bit of TLC, and with that, it's going to make a great coach for someone. This is our 1999 Airstream Cutter, and we've got it at just under $14,000, folks. That's a great deal on a Class A motorhome with some great bones. First of all, you're going to notice it's going to have this beautiful side fiberglass sidewall. And as we move down the outside of the coach, nice and smooth. I'm not seeing any signs of hydronic blistering or, or no real signs. A little bit of delamination may be right there, but not anything real problematic. We're going to come back here. We've got some nice big... Nice big pass-through cargo area, 1991. This was back in the day when things were just a little bit heavier, a little bit more solid. You could probably hear that cut slam there on that door. We're gonna step around to the back. Somebody has put a nice ladder on the back of that so you can get up and look at your roof, make sure that things are all maintained. We're gonna step around back this way. You do have a nice big receiver hitch there so you are ready to tow. Come back around this way. This is the other side of that pass-through storage. And we're going to have these great big doors here for even more storage. So we step up this way. Pretty much your standard motorhome. A lot more storage there. Someone left a nice VHS tape in there for us. So here we are inside the 1999 Airstream Cutter. And when I talked a little bit about good bones, this is what I was talking about. We have beautiful hardwood cabinets, this beautiful warm sort of a light oak or a medium oak color. You've got some really nice solid countertops here. This is hardwood in your galley, on your galley floor. When was the last time you saw that in a motorhome? Again, all hardwood on your fascia trims here. Got a nice uh, solid little dinette table. Couch is in decent shape. And then as we go up here to our cockpit, you can see they have replaced the television with a modern one. Um, sorry, folks, for those of you who are hoping for one of those big old clunker uh, uh, analog televisions. No collector's item in this one, at least not there. Um, you're going to step up here. We are on a Chevy chassis. Your front seats are still in plenty good shape. She just needs a little bit of love and TLC. Walk back this way and we'll show you the bedroom and the bathroom. We've got a good size bathroom. Again with a residential vanity, medicine cabinet, glass shower, and a true walk around bed. All the way around here. Nice big shirt closets here. So right here we've got a nice uh, sliding door. Fairly solid. It's going to give us some privacy back here in the bedroom. And we've got still quite a bit of good wall covering here yet. There's a lot to work with in our 1999 Airstream Cutter. Folks, I'm not your expert on renovation, but I can tell you a little bit more about the motorhome. I'm Susan. You can reach me here at Mount Comfort RV. And back to you, Kurt. Before Susan shows us the bargain of the century, watch this. Hi everybody, welcome back to Mount Comfort Online. Today I've got Rick Helby, one of our parts store experts from Mount Comfort RV. The parts store here is the largest independent parts store in the state of Indiana. Thousands of SKUs, thousands of accessories and parts to make your camping experience that much better. Rick, what do you have for us? Uh, today we're going to talk about the anode rod. Uh, the anode rod is a water heater uh, part. It's made for suburban water heaters only. There are two water heaters in the industry that we use mostly, and that's the Atwood and the Suburban. The Atwood does not use an anode rod, but the Suburban does. Uh, basically, it's a just change it once a year product. It's an inch and sixteenth head 
socket, deep well, and you'll pull this rod out after you winterize and then replace it with a brand new one. We, have, we stock them every day at Mount Comfort RV. So you recommend we change that every year? Every year. And tell me if I don't, if I forget, or if I'm too cheap to make that replacement, what happens? Well, what, what, in, what eventually will happen is the tank will take, have some damage. The disc protects the tank. Uh, the rod actually takes all the electrodes out of the water and it eats the rod instead of the tank. If this gets where it's not usable anymore inside the tank, it'll start to destroy the bottom of the tank. And that results in... A new water heater. Hundreds of dollars. Probably to about $700 to replace the water heater. Awesome. And this is going to cost me... $16. So I should buy three or four of them, <laughs> keep them on hand, yes, and replace have them every, every year, year to avoid those large charges. Yes. Well, Rick, thanks a lot. Just want to remind you, more information on this can be found at MountComfortRV.com or you can call us at 1-800-899-6676. Ask for Rick, he'll walk you through it. We have curbside uh, delivery now for our parts store, so you can call in, get the expert advice make the buying decision, and we can have those products available for pickup outside of our front door here at Mount Comfort on I-70, just east of Indianapolis. Rick, thanks a lot. Thank you. Our next featured fixer-upper is a 90 wooden Fleetwood Bounder, and it's yours for under $10,000. Susan, come in, tell us more about this bargain. Thanks again, Kurt. I'm Susan here at Mount Comfort RV, talking to you about some of our great little handyman specials with just a little bit of TLC, maybe a medium amount of TLC. This is going to make a great unit for you. This is our 1991 Fleetwood Bounder. You're going to be doing some California dreaming in this unit if you just want to give her a little bit of love and TLC. So a lot here to love. Still got her fiberglass outside. This was the paint scheme, this sort of an orange and, and gold and blue, think sunsets along the lake or along the beach. Inside, we're gonna have a little bit of storage here. And that will go all the way through. It's kind of hard to see, but that is your pass-through storage. It'll go all the way through. So that's gonna be where the lawn chairs will go, maybe a flag, maybe some of those longer things that you wanted to take along. Back here, we're going to have a little bit more storage. Again, pass through all the way back. So think ladders, uh, maybe a small, slow, low pressure grill. You wouldn't think you'd have that much storage with these little compartments, but actually it's quite a bit. And 1991, back in the day when bumpers were bumpers. That's a solid, well not solid metal, but a hard metal bumper. You do already have your receiver hitch and ball for towing. We're going to step around this side. This is kind of your port side on this side. More storage, not quite all the way through. This will be the other side of your pass-through storage. Stepping around this way. Oh, I just went and locked it. <laughs> Let's open it up. And... There is your Cummins Onand 7000 generator. So you're going to have a pretty beefy generator to operate this unit. Now we're going to step inside the 1991 Bounder. Welcome inside our 1991 Fleetwood Bounder. This is one of those units that's going to be kind of in that 35 foot range, which is what a lot of folks out there are looking for. It's the kind of unit that you could either um, use as a motorized unit uh, with a little bit of TLC, or you could put this on a lot. It would make a great little cabin for you. There are no slides in this motorhome. That's an advantage for some people. They just don't want to have to employ them or ma maintain them. So it is a no slide motorhome, but still a lot of room, a lot of natural light and those great big windows that are gonna open up, provide you with a lot of ventilation. On temperate days, you're gonna have a lot of fresh air in your unit. Again, true with this great big windshield up here. You're on a Ford chassis and we do have a little bit of a collector's item in our Panasonic television back there, the old analog TV, so you'll be replacing that if, it is you, uh, if you do want uh, television in your unit. We're gonna walk back this way a little bit. Of course, your standard um, RV dinette right here. Then we're gonna walk back this way. We have what's known as our bathroom right here. Not a split bath, it almost looks like a split bath right here. But as we step back in here, you see, we've got quite a bit of room and actually a pretty deep tub. 
great place for little kids or if you have pets going along with you and they need to be cleaned up a little bit that's going to be a great bathtub for you so your bed is going to be situated east west in a true walk around um, bedroom got some beautiful hardwood cabinetry up above and around to the side second air conditioner inside the the bedroom and then as we walk back this way we're going to have big wardrobe storage here and we've got the shade for the uh, the up front windshield so folks this is our 1991 Fleetwood Bounder with a little bit of TLC this could be your motorhome if you have questions about her please give me a call I'm Susan here at Mount Comfort RV and back to you Kurt Thanks, Susan. Our final coach is a 2014 Freelander Class C motorhome with bunks. Susan, take us through this bargain unit. Well, thanks again, Kurt. Here I am with yet another unit that could use just a little bit of TLC and turn out to be a great camper for you. It's almost that holy grail, that Class C, the uh, fairly late model years, with a great price attached. It's going to be our Freelander. 32 BH, she's a 2014, she's in fairly good shape, especially for a Class C. So we're gonna take a look, she's gonna be on the Ford Super Duty chassis. Um, she's gonna have enough power to get you where you want to, do, to go. This is gonna be a great camper that's gonna sleep a lot of folks. We're gonna talk a little bit about, more about that when we get inside. She does have a generator on board, we're gonna walk around this way. It's a little bit of a climb, but I can show you indeed. There you are. There's a Cummins 4000 Onan generator. Cummins is pretty much the standard in the RV industry. That's the one you want. As we walk around the unit, you're going to see it does have a nice slide out and a slide out topper. Folks, that's key when you're camping, getting ready to break camp. You're not going to have to get up there with a broom and knock all of the debris and the twigs off before you pull your slide back in. So as we step back here, one of Coachman's claims to fame is their storage capacity. You've got a nice big storage unit or storage area here that's actually going to go all the way over to the other side. So those longer things like long, long chairs and toys, water skis, things like that, going to fit in there just fine. As we come around to the back, you do have an actual bumper. So if you wanted to mount some sort of bicycle rack, you're gonna have a good solid bumper that will do that. And as we step around this side, you're gonna have yet another nice big slide. So when we get inside this unit, you're gonna see, really opens it up. Now let's go inside. Hey folks, here we are inside our Freelander 32BH. It's a 2014. We're ready to go. Here we are in the 2014 Freelander 32BH. Remember I spoke a little bit about the fact that this is going to sleep a lot of folks. And here's how. Of course, you've got your big over-the-head bunk right here. You could almost get two people comfortably up there. It's rated to about 300 pounds, so we'd want them to be fairly svelte. You can also sleep somebody on the dinette. The table's going to drop down. Cushions are going to fill in on top of the table, makes a nice little bed there. You can also make this into a bed, but wait, there's more. We're going to walk back here. You got two full bunks here and then your master bedroom back here. And there's a lot of room in that master bedroom. It's truly a walk around bed. You're going to have a lot of storage space. Nice deep cabinet here nice deep wardrobe closet here more storage underneath and then if we turn around and look at the over the bed storage those are really tall cabinets in addition to shirt cabinets on both sides and kind of a nightstand function on both sides as well so this is a real rainy day friendly coach this is a coach where you can spend some time and not feel like you're sitting on top of everybody else who's with you we'll take a quick look at the bathroom here Bathroom's going to be directly across from your bunks. And here's our bathroom. So nice size shower. Whoops. Nice size shower. Pretty good access to the toilet. A little bit of a linen cabinet over there. And then we step back into the main coach. There's a little bit of a step there, so watch yourself. And we 
we've got a little bit of extra counter space here with this sort of mini island sink located right here. That's a large sink for class CRV. I don't know if you noticed too, we've got a lot of natural light in this coach as well. Seems really open. Ceiling seems nice and high. Again, a rainy day friendly coach. It just needs a little bit of TLC to make it yours. I'm Susan at Mount Comfort RV. If you have more questions about this, please give me a call. And now back to you, Kurt. Well, that wraps it up for our show for today. For more information on these fixer uppers or any of the other 450 new or pre-owned units here at Mount Comfort RV, go to mountcomfortrv.com or you can call us at 1-800-899-6676. That wraps it up for Mount Comfort RV online for today. See you next time.